Hello, I'm Cliff Hall from Cortex with another snack video. In this edition, I'll show you how to go about processing an RMA in Acumatica 2017 R2. The first step in processing an RMA is to go to the sales order screen, enter a new order, and choose the order type RM for RMA or return materials. We've chosen the customer, and by doing so, down below under Add Invoice, we'll see all the invoices that are available for return. By clicking the button, I click on the reference number field and I find that there's an invoice I want to have return. Once I choose that, I click the little box here to ensure that it shows up as a line item, and then I click Add and Close. I can go ahead and say Save, or take it off hold actually and say Save, so either way is fine. The process in Acumatica for RMAs is to first take in a receipt and then go right ahead and process an issue to replace the item. Notice there's a button checked here for auto create the issue. So when we process this, a new line will show up showing the issue we're going to send to the customer as a replacement. The next step is to process the receipt. Under actions, I choose create receipt. I choose the warehouse to which the receipt will be receiving. Notice here on the shipment screen, I have receipt and the item I'm bringing in. By clicking actions, confirm shipment. I'm telling the system that everything's fine and we're ready to go. Under actions, I click once more to prepare <coughs> invoice and that invoice will actually be a credit memo. You can see here the credit memo under the invoice screen. This will be the return amount minus the shipping for this particular item being returned. Clicking under Actions and Release, the return is now complete. From the Credits Memo screen, when I go back to the sales order and look up my RMA, notice that below the issue has already been added by the system because we clicked this button to auto-create the issue. From this point, the next action is to click on Actions and create the shipment. Choosing again the warehouse from which the shipment will be issued. And then we'll process it like we normally would for any shipment inside of Acumatica. In this case, the, error, the invoice is now created for the amount that we're actually going to invoice them this time with freight on it. Once this is released, that completes the entire transaction. It's important to note also, these transactions may not occur all at one time like I'm showing here. You'll probably get in a receipt and then some short time later, the issue will then occur. After the last invoice is processed, the next thing to do is take a look at customer details. And we can see here the invoice for 5415 is showing up and then the credit memo for the same process 5414 shows up under the customer in customer details. And that wraps it up for this process. Thank you for watching another Cortex Snack video. Subscribe below and find out more about how we can help you enhance productivity and increase your profits. Choose today to take control of your business. Unleash your potential and let your vision come to life with Acumatica. Find out more at Cortex.com.